So on your Breezy site, you have a lot of different options for how to set up backgrounds. So I'm going to go through some of the different style dots and the background options that you have. So first of all, there's the big background areas that are um, controlled by these larger style dots at the upper corner of each main area. And when I say main area, if you look at the layout grid, um, it's, it's kind of divided into rows. So basically for each large row, depending on how many apps you have in it, you can apply a background to that. So for instance, we have our main header row here, which is three columns. And currently, if I click that style dot, what I have applied there is a very light textured background. So if I click edit and we scroll down, we can see which background is being used. These are all of your different texture options. Um, so lots of different um, kind of subtle backgrounds that you can play around with and use. This is the one that's being used right now. You can see because it's highlighted um, with this green outline. And basically, if you're using one of these options, you can, you have a few different options. Uh, generally, you want to have it repeat, which means it's basically going to repeat itself or tile um, in all directions. Or you can use some of these other options if you don't want it to repeat or if you want it to repeat horizontally or vertically. Um, you can play around with them if you'd like, and then you can also adjust the uh, kind of spacing. If it's repeating, um, these won't really matter too much. However, if you want to have an image, a really wide image, um, and you want to show a piece of it, you can move it um, up left, right, or down using these sliders. Um, and also for these main areas, if you'd like to, you can upload your own custom background. So if you have, again, an image or some sort of texture or something else that you'd like to use, just click Upload Image. That gives you your options here. And then, for example, this was just a sample site that we did um, where we can grab this background and upload it. And what it does is just adds it to your library there. So, and then I could put repeat horizontally instead of vertically and kind of play around with it until I get it uh, the way I like. Um, so you have those different options to kind of pick and choose uh, what's going to work well based on your, uh, your taste and what you'd like to see for your site. So I'm going to go back to the one I selected previously. Um, that was just a kind of light texture for that top area. And I'll go through and show you some of the different options. Actually, I'll just grab a different one just so we can kind of play around some of the, some of the different choices here. Um, and if you do use one of these custom images, whether it's one of ours or you upload your own, um, once you close out, you also have an option to uh, kind of blend a color over top of it or overlay a, a color. So right now I have white selected as my background color. I could change that to any other color I'd like to or add a custom color here if I have hex code. Um, so for example, if I wanted like a l very light blue um, uh, kind of blend over top of that, I can pick that color and then I can use my blend image with background color slider here to play with the saturation of how how much that color is going to show through. So um, you can go ahead and try that out if you'd like to. Um, if you'd just like to use a solid color, that's another option. So we can take out the background image selection there and I can make it say a solid white or whatever color I'd like to there. And then if you scroll down, you can see some of these other options. Right now this inner shadow is actually what's being used to apply that top uh, stripe across there. Um, so you have some options there for your inner shadow where you can play with the, you know, the horizontal and vertical distance. Um, as you can see now, if I move that over, it's coming on the side um, as well there. So I'm going to put that back to zero. Let's say I wanted that stripe on the um, bottom of my page instead of the top. I can move this to negative and then you'll see it shows here. Um, and then blend would just make it kind of... Um, uh, you know, blend out there with by way of a uh, kind of gradient effect there. So again, you have some some cool options here with your inner shadow. If you'd like to apply um, either a stripe or something else there, like like I have on this particular site. And then lastly, if you'd like to do a gradient, you can do that as well. So gradient is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can't select which color the gradient goes into. It's basically goes into um, black. So whatever color you have, it's right now, since it's white, it's going white to black. And then you can play with the intensity here. So if you want it to be um, very subtle, you can bring that slider down there to softest. If you'd like to switch it around so it's white at the top going into black, you can click invert gradient 
Um, so you have that option as well. Right now you can't mix gradients with background images and you can't kind of cross splice those different background options. So if you're do using the gradient, it has to be a solid color that's the gradient's being applied to. Um, but if you are, you know, just want to have a, a solid color or a blended color over top of one of these background patterns, you can do that. And then lastly, with the spacing, that's pretty straightforward. You can um, just adjust the, the whole space in the area if you need a little bit of um, padding above or below that particular area of the page. So again, those larger dots are for the main rows in your layout there. So you have the same options here, same options down, lower down the page. You can see here I'm using a different um, one of these uh, background textures and I have it set to the white background and it's at 50%. If I move this down a little bit, you'll see it gets a little bit darker or if I move it up, it gets even lighter. So that's what's being used for this background and then if you go even lower down the page it's a different texture kind of a jean texture there um, with a gray color overlay and then lower it's the same texture there and I'm again using the inner shadow on this very lower one to have that slight gray stripe there at the top so those are some of your background options for the main rows or larger areas of your page but then you can also apply backgrounds to different parts as well so you'll notice that this style dot um, where it kind of renders on the side of that area of your page, that's controlling everything inside that particular row. So all the apps in that row it's uh, controlling, so you can apply a background there. So for this area, I don't have a background set, um, but you can feel free to do that. You know, if I wanted to do you have the same option for the header, so it's with any kind of zone or area of the page, if I wanted to do a different color or maybe have that light br blue brought out there, I can apply the color and then I can play with the opacity and those other um, style options as well if you want to make some adjustments there. So you have that background option for each row or larger area of the page um, for all the apps in that row. And then you can also use the one above each column which controls all the apps in that particular column of the page. So if I were to use this dot here you can see I have this blue background applied. So that blue is showing through um, for all the apps in the column. Um, but by the same token, um, you can go into the individual apps and also apply backgrounds. So you can do different layers of backgrounds, which you can see here. For this column, it's this darker blue, which you see lower here. But for this upper app um, with the little shopping widget, I also have a white background kind of overlay, that's why the blue is showing a little bit lighter. If I were to bring this op opacity the whole way down, it's gonna be that solid blue the whole way through, but um, since I brought that up a little bit, you have a lighter blue to give a little bit of contrast there for the shopping widget. So, um, and then with specific components of an app, so you can kind of go from large to very small in terms of backgrounds. Um, you know, if you wanted to apply a background to a, you know, for the social icons app, for example, you can apply a background per um, per icon there, which is shown here, and then for each icon there's a border. So you can really dive in and kind of play with the backgrounds for uh, individual elements like these buttons here, uh, to apps, to columns, um, all of the apps in a row, or the entire row itself. So we're probably going to be adding some more background options, so not only can you do colors, but you'll also be able to do the same image or pattern uploads for these uh, more granular areas, even for columns and, and apps and so forth, but that's not in the system just yet, so just stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot.